dependent upon differential pressure to lubricate the internal components of the compressor, which I have another video to show you guys about as well. Everybody knows videos. It's so much easier than trying to explain it to you. Essentially, we're using high pressure gas to, to create a high pressure scenario inside the shell that's pushing down on the oil that comes up through the center of the compressor um, and lubricates all of the components of the compressor and brings it back to the actual low pressure state at the top of the scroll plate uh, where, where, where the differential issue is taking place. The next one, I'll let, I'll let Steve talk about a little bit, is the uh, low pressure shell type inverter, which is typically used in two pipe heat recovery. Right, so there's, there's quite a bit of differences here. So Roman talked about the discharge gas cooled on, on the compressor he just spoke of. This is a low pressure shell, so it is cooled by the low pressure gas. And, I, and part of this is the design. Uh, with, with how Mitsubishi is it, the design is made with as far as the VC controller, ensuring that good superheat vapor back. This is a safe, this is, I'd say a pretty safe route. Otherwise, you could run into some problems. You could take it in liquid, and that could be a bit of an issue, obviously, on scroll compressors. This one has, which I don't know if you talked on the oil pump. These have mechanical oil pumps down at the bottom. Essentially what it does is there's working gears. I'm sure you can probably describe it a little better. We, we have a video. Oh, we do have a video. And it just has a pinhole up to the crankshaft, which you see in the middle, and it lubricates the scrolls, the top and bottom for the screen. So, guys, when we're talking about lubrication of compressors, right, oil is critical. Refrigerant is critical. I mean, there's really not any component in a 